A lot of people will spend a couple of years nurturing a papaya and wondering why they never ever get fruit, even if they spent 20 bucks on it at the store. The problem is papayas are, are sexually ambiguous. Uh, you can buy a female, and if we have enough hot nights, they can change sex into a boy. Uh, and plus, a lot of people don't know how to sex a papaya, so that's what this video is about. This is a seedling. Believe it or not, let me step back so you can see how big this thing is. Oh, I just got stung in the ear by a wasp. That was great. Uh, it goes above the roof of the house, and this seedling is only, it's barely four months old. Here in Tampa, they grow really fast. Well, oh, that sting hurt. Let's get back up here. As you see, the uh, blooms are on a long, narrow stem. That's a male papaya. It can never, ever set fruit, and a lot of people don't know that and will spend a couple of years nurturing a papaya that can't set fruit. What you want is to have the blooms look, they come right off of the stem. Like, they will come right off this joint, and it'll be a short little stubby bloom that'll look pretty much like a baby papaya. Uh, some people feel that the bloom resembles uh, a tulip. Oh, here's what stung me. It's a little wasp nest underneath the papaya leaf. There we go. Okay, now I know to be more cautious out here. I hate killing wasp nests, so I'll probably spare it. Anyway, this is a lesson on sexing papayas, and it's an important one. I'm leaving this one up only as a demo for students. I've had several plants come up male this year, and those are coming down because they're a waste of space. Uh, it seems pretty clear to people that papayas do not need a pollinator to set fruit. Hope this helps people figure their papayas out. Bye-bye.